Hi friends, this video is regarding the interview experience for the company LimeTree and it's for the software developer role. The company is located in Gurgaon and they work in Java. The company is growing quite fast. They will treat you quite well uh, when you will visit there for the interview. So initially their seniors and CTO would call you for the interview. They will try to see whether you match for their role or not. So they will ask you basic questions like why you want to join this company, what if, what have you worked till now, what are your expectations from uh, from LimeTree. So uh, even their CTO like uh, Piyush Jain would call you and he will try to understand uh, whether you suit for the role or not. If you suit for the role then he will schedule your interview with the uh, interview panel. So let's begin the rounds that took place in their office. So there were mainly two rounds and the first round was uh, uh, with some software developer and the questions that he asked me was were something like this. Let's say one array it is given to you like 1, 4, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, 7 are the numbers in array. Then you need to delete the duplicates and their references also. So this is important. You need to delete the numbers along with the references. So the approach that you need to follow is uh, you need to use Java here, right? So since they are working in Java and if you are having experience in Java, then they will ask you questions related to Java uh, in the first or the second round. So you basically you need to delete the duplicates and their references in this array. Then the second question that he asked me was how inheritance works. So basically uh, early binding, dynamic binding, you need to explain it. So, so he made one class uh, for me. So one class shape is there and one class circle is, ex is extending this shape base class. So this is the base class and this is the drive class. Then there is one class test in which uh, you are taking the reference of shape and then you are uh, initializing the circle. Then if you do s dot draw, then what function would be called and how will it be called and why it will be called. So if you know about Java then inside circle would be called and the binding would take place at the runtime and it won't be compile time binding. So you need to explain this process a bit in the interview. Then the second question was what would happen if a static keyword is used before the methods. So in the same example if static is used before the draw then what would happen so you can pause for a minute and think about it in your mind so the answer for this is uh, inside shape would be called because here since a static keyword has been used so it would be compile time binding at compile time it knows that s is the object of shape so it basically checks the reference here and since uh, uh, s dot draw uh, draw is a static function so it it will which is bind at the compile time because it is static keyword has been used here so that's why uh, parent class or base class function would be called so you need to explain a bit here why it would be called right now the second question was what would be the signature of function which can handle base and drive classes both so you need to use uh, wildcards here. <clears throat> so if you have, uh, uh, if you know about Java, then you must have seen these. Uh, uh, so let's say this is one uh, one class shape. So any class which is extending shape class would be able to handle both the both the cases. So if if you would pass base class or drive class. It would be handled if you use signature something like this extent shape so basically any class which is extending shape would be able to implement or would be able to handle both base classes and drive classes if you pass into this function right so if you call shape dot draw then the respective shapes would be drawn Then the next question was uh, 
they ask related to spring since uh, my experience was in spring so first question was what is the difference between java singleton and spring singleton so one is at the class loader level this is at the class loader level and this is at the application level so this is the difference along with that i suggest you one thing also if you have to change this spring to some other thing that it should not be singleton then what you need to do then uh, i suggest you to study this also that if you have to stop this singleton functionality of spring then what you need to do then another question was if a b if a b is dependent on b and b is dependent on c then how would they be initialized a by spring so if you know about the basic functionality of spring then first dependencies would be resolved so c would be initialized first then b then a then the next question was if it is something like this then what will happen what will happen so there is there are two types of uh, dependency injection one is by constructor injection and other one is by setter injection so if you do the dependency injection by this method then this problem which is called as circular dependency would be resolved you can study uh, this in detail uh, my purpose for this lecture is to explain you about the questions not going into the details yeah so the next question was what added advantage is offered by using spring so you need to tell about the dependency injection you need to tell about the aspect oriented programming along with the mvc framework and you need, you can also explain about the auto wired auto wired and annotations which are offered by spring you can also explain about the uh, integration with other frameworks like hibernate maintaining transactions right so you just need to worry about the business logic rest details would be handled by the spring so you can explain something like this in interviews i suggest you to prepare this question in uh, in good detail and tell the answer in in the priority so if something is of highest priority like dependency injection then you should mention it uh, at first go and then you can keep on decreasing it along with that i suggest to you who is if you sorry for a minute if you don't know about something then uh, my suggestion to you is it's better to not tell about that uh, sorry there was some problem let's continue the lecture then the next question uh, was related to design so he wanted me to develop a system which could tell how many requests have been successful how many have been pending and how many are failed so let's say if there is one api there is one rest api in which the request is coming then you need to tell that how many requests are successful how many are pending and how many have failed so you need to design a system for this basically he wanted to understand from the db point of view how will you manage in it in the table and how will you able to handle the failed cases and pending cases then he also asked me some thread related questions so how many threads are needed right so if you have used some queuing mechanism then how threading is managed there so questions were were related to that so this was all from about the first round then the second round took place with uh, some of uh, one of their senior employees suraj and he he told me about the company details uh, he was explaining me things like as if i have been selected for the interview so all the he was explain he was explaining me all the details like he was trying to attract the employees for for their organization that they are they are a good startup they provide you independence along with that the people of their startup have sorry for another delay uh, let's continue so he was explaining me about the team structure how how they work what are their expectations from the employee how they give the independence how there is flat hierarchy in their organization so this was uh, about their uh, second round it was not basically technical they wanted to understand your uh, skills uh, leadership skills 
and along with that they wanted to understand whether you will stick with the organization or not uh, yeah so this for this round was details about the company and why you want to join our company right then there was third round third round uh, the lead engineer was busy in this round so some uh, junior guy took the interview and uh, his questions were also something like that only so he uh, i think this question was good he showed me tabs switching in mac laptop so something like this like right so this is all tab in uh, windows so he he gave me uh, let's continue yeah so he showed me this then he asked me to design a data structure to implement it so i told him you we can do it by using double link list then he asked me to implement it using some other data structure also which i was not able to explain it to him then he asked me about right uh, write a code for in order traversal for tree having several children so it is not a binary tree but it is having several children something like this right then when i was doing the question then he asked me whether is it possible to have in order traversal or not and i said no then yeah then he stopped so i think he gave this question in a hurry or some something because in order traversal of a tree having several children is not feasible then he asked me have you ever used graphs while working so graph data structure then again he asked me a program write a program to tell top three nodes in an array right so it i am not able to re uh, uh, what exact i am not able to recognize what exact question he asked me in the interview and uh, the question was something like this write a program to tell top three nodes in an array at a moment of time so let's say if your array is something like this then you then these are the top three nodes and if a stream is coming up something like 33 25 27 1 then uh, at this moment of time the top 3 elements are 33 25 and 27 not these three so you need to design some data structure to implement this so as the numbers are coming up you need to tell top 3 elements at a moment of time so i told him that uh, we can do using a heap uh, data structure so if you are maintaining some max heap then in in this max heap then elements would be something like this so we can uh, we can tell the top 3 elements just by taking the top 3 nodes and uh, then he asked me to write a heapify function and tell its complexity so i wrote that function uh, you can uh, give some other solution also if you have in mind you can mention it in the comment section i think heap is a good solution for this so this was all about the lime tree inter interview process and thank you for watching this video please like and share my videos i will try to make and include more interviews from other people also and don't forget to subscribe my channel it will motivate me to make more videos like this thank you